At Barangay Ugong Hall in Valenzuela City, Cantex Management gave 13,000 pesos in salary and financial assistance to some of the families of the 72 workers who died in the fire as well as some of the survivors. Across the board, 8,000. Regardless of their rank, status, 8,000. Plus, we included uh, an amount of 5,000 for our initial cash assistance para sa kanila. According to the Kentex staff in charge of distributing the financial assistance, 219 people were able to receive assistance. But survivor Ronnie Veraya says it's not enough. Eh, sa ngayon, parang kulang kasi, lalo na, nawala na kami ng trabaho. Eh, tambay kami ngayon, maghanap pa kami ng trabaho pa ulit. Others like Simporian Maunbong were not able to receive money because they still had to prove their relation to their deceased kin. She came all the way from Davao Occidental in Mindanao to bury her eldest daughter. She said she hasn't received any financial assistance and even if she did 13,000 pesos, is not enough. Hindi po, sir. Kasi ano, lima... Lima po kaming pumunta dito, niya ino, inutang pa naman yung ibang pera, pamasahe. She said her daughter, Jaunisa Maunbong, came to Manila to help the family. She said Jaunisa was saving up to buy her fisherman father a new boat with a motor to help ease the burden. Jaunisa's father took it the hardest. No, mahal ko siya, mahal siya namin ng tatlong, uh, ng dalawang... Kapatid niya at saka yung papa niya, umiiyak masyado kanina yung papa niya doon sa ano, nilibingan. According to Attorney Aura Gabriel from the Valenzuela City Legal Office, many who came had to prove their relation to their deceased kin just like Maunbong. Uh, uh, a while ago, some, uh, somebody approached us. Uh, she doesn't have any documentary evidence to prove that she is a relative of one of the deceased. So uh, one of the lawyers who handled it, uh, he gave an advice na um, they must present additional documents to prove nga. Kasi if you don't have any documents to prove and the CSWDO, our localized version of CSWD, has not yet interviewed you, uh, magkakaroon ng problem when you're gonna claim, uh, at the time na magkiklaim na siya ng benefits. Barangay Captain Eddie Nazar says that on Wednesday, survivors and the family of those who died during the fire will be receiving financial assistance from the LGU and get a chance to clarify things with the owners of Cantex. And then po, papabot po natin sa ating uh, CSWD or City Social Welfare Development Office para mabigyan po ng uh, tulong o ayuda regarding po sa financial assistance or medical assistance na, o pangangailangan po ng uh, tao po. Uh, actually, uh, actually, by uh, May 20, no, Wednesday, at uh, 11 a.m. at uh, AVR, audiovisual room po ng uh, city, na kung saan po magkaroon po ng uh, ugnayan na po, between the owner of the Gentex and then uh, and also itong pong mga pamilya po. Aside from the financial assistance, the survivors and family members will be able to seek help or ask representatives from government agencies like the Social Security System, the Department of Labor and Employment, Pag-ibig, Department of Social Welfare and Development, and the Philippine Charity Sweepstakes Office about the benefits they should receive. But for the family members of those who lost their lives, it may never be enough. Rex Romitio, CNN Philippines.